Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Valerie, and we're at my home. For about the last month, we've been testing out a new line of smart lighting products by C by GE. These are a line of new smart lighting products for people who are newer to the smart home ecosystem. And we've had a really great time testing out a whole wide range of different products from uh, smart switches to wire-free switches and motion sensors and even light strips. We've already done a couple of different unboxings of the C by GE line and if you haven't seen those yet we'll include some links up above so that you can check out those complete videos. We're not going to go through the whole unboxing today. Today we're going to focus on what it's like to actually use the products and Mark's going to do an installation and uh, we'll give you our thoughts. And uh, by the way uh, C by GE or GE Lighting sent us all the products we've used in this video. Yes. So we really appreciate they did that. Uh, especially because it gave us the whole line to work with. So we're not locking, looking at one switch or one sensor. We're going to look at the whole line. So over here we have a couple of the different boxes. We have a uh, three wire and a four wire uh, smart dimmer switch. And we wanted to do this so that you could really see the difference in the boxes. It's, they look pretty close as you can tell. Um, but one thing that you'll see when you go and look at these in the store is that this one has a little blue box that says works with most common residential wiring, no neutral wire required. So that'll be an important thing to think about depending on the um, electrical wiring inside your house. And then over here we have um, the complete line of the different styles. Uh, I think the only thing we're missing here is the wire-free... The wire-free dimmer switch. Dimmer we switch. Yeah, that's we already, we've already installed that. Yeah, that's installed downstairs. But we have some examples of the other styles. And one of the things that we really like about this new line is that they look really nice. Um, this is a very elegant switches and you can have a, this kind of very more modern design. This is a dimmer and it glows. It looks pretty neat. And then kind of the traditional rocker switches. And then if you even have these old toggle switches um, that actually make a nice clicky sound. Uh, so you can really design these for however your house is designed. They also have the, um, this motion sensor. It's, this is also wire free obviously. And uh, just to kind of go over a little bit of the technology is that these set of switches are Bluetooth enabled. There is no hub involved. So you know a lot of times we've done Z-Wave and Zigbee switches and you need to have like a SmartThings hub or something like that to connect it all up. These don't require a hub at all. This is it. They're you, hubless. They're hubless, exactly. And so what they did was they wanted to do, be both hubless so you didn't have to have extra gear. They wanted it to also work if the internet was down, which is really kind of nice. Mm -hmm. Because it works with Bluetooth, these things all mesh together. And they call it a Bluetooth mesh. And then your phone meshes in with it as well. And so as long as you have your phone in the house, you can control these lights. Now, the other thing they did was they made it for houses with three wire and four wire installations, which means with or without a neutral, right? So a four wire switch, which this one is, as you can see, has four wires coming out, a line, a load, a neutral, which is the white wire and green for the ground wire. If you look, however, at a three wire switch, which this one is, it has only three wires and you'll see line load and ground, but no neutral line. And we're gonna actually show both of these being installed and paired up. Uh, when you get the three wire switch, what's going to happen is you're going to find this little thing in the box. And this thing here is needed in the three wire installation for certain cases and we'll go through that during the installation. So that's an important thing to remember that is in there and don't lose it. Uh, they also have a similar thing to this you can actually put in a light fixture and I'll talk about that during the installation. So Mark, how do you know if you have three or four wire wiring in your house? Well, you have to have a little bit of knowledge about the electrical wiring but basically if there's white wires in the box then you probably need four wire if there's no white wires in the box then use three wire right now that's the black and white answer uh, the more detailed answer is wherever you're going to put these open them up and look inside and see if there's a neutral wire because your house could have some neutral wires and some not what you're talking about is if you have an older home it's probably a no neutrals in the box the newer the home, certainly anything built after like 2010 for sure, uh, I think is going to have a neutral in the thing because of the electrical code. But the details of that depends on your state and locality, mm -hmm. right? And if you're not going to install these yourselves, you can just ask your electrician which ones you should buy. And hopefully he'll come out and do a site audit and make sure you, he knows what you've got to get. And the reason why we say all this is that if you have a neutral wire in your house, then buy the four wire switches. Don't buy the three wire switches. I think you'd even find... C by G would probably tell you the same thing. 
Uh, so just make sure if you got neutral, get the four wires. It's much easier. You don't have to contend with this adapter uh, in some cases. So This is pretty neat because now even if you have an old historic home, you can still have smart switches inside. That's right. You know, one thing that we didn't talk about here that we're not showing right now is you don't have to install these switches and open up your electrical box to use the C by GE lighting line. They also have a whole line of smart bulbs um, that are both white in color as well as some smart light strips. And if you want to connect those to the internet, uh, you can get a smart plug that you can just plug into a wall. You can control something. And that also has the Wi-Fi included so that you can control your devices remotely. Yeah, that's right. I forgot to mention that. that these are all Bluetooth, and so are the bulbs in the, in the uh, light strips. But if you want to get to the internet, you either need to install one of these wired switches who has the Wi-Fi in there, so they act as a bridge to the internet, or, as you were saying, just get the plug, which is the typical wall plug you plug in, and that also has Bluetooth in it, and it has that Wi-Fi. So that's a good mm -hmm. point. I hadn't thought about that. Um, and then the bulbs are in the uh, light strip are really easy to install. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a lot of times people ask us, you know, if you were going to buy all new smart home stuff right now, you know, what would you pick? And this is something that's really easy to use. It doesn't require a hub. It looks really nice and they have a complete lighting line. So if you want to get started in smart home lighting now and you don't have, you know, the patience really or you don't really want to learn all that extra technology, this is a great solution for you. So now we're going to turn it over to Mark and he's going to show you how you install the switches and how you use the app and how you use these little adapters as well. We have both wired and wire-free devices to install. Here is how we install the wired devices. Make sure the power is off. Remove the old switch and be sure to label each wire. Now, just match up the wires on the C by G switch and tighten the wire nuts and put the switches in the wall box. Turn back on the power and add the wall plate. Pairing each device is simple with the C by GE app. Since the C by G devices use Bluetooth, pairing the bulbs, including the LED light strips, only require you to turn them on and provide a name. The wire-free devices like the dimmer and the motion sensor are similar with added steps to wake up the device by pressing a button, select the device, selecting a room, and in the case of the motion sensor, adjusting its settings. When pairing the wired switches, the app will ask you if your switch came with a bulb adapter. This way, the app will know if you have a three or four wire switch. Since these devices provide the Wi-Fi access to the internet for voice assistance and remote control, you'll be asked for your Wi-Fi router info. The app will ask you for a bulb type, so be sure to review the list carefully and select the type of light you have. One of our switches connected to a fan, so we selected all other bulbs, and it worked fine. Okay, so we've gone through and installed the living room. We've installed the living room fan using a four-wire C by GE switch. Now we're in the dining room, and here we took three-wire switches from the C by GE, because they make them for both four-wire, where you have a neutral in the box, and three wire where you don't have a neutral. So what we did is we said, okay, let's give it a try and see what it takes to install three wire switches and how well they work. The other thing we did was we wanted to have a three-way circuit to see how that works out. So you'll notice there's a switch to my right and a switch to my left. They're both controlling the light here in the dining room. So let's take a look at what it takes to hook them up. So first thing we had to do, just like we did in the other one, was remove the old switches label them, and then connect them up to the switches. What's really important is C by GE on their website have really detailed directions on how to install the switches in a three-way configuration. There's one for three-way, three-wire, which is what we're doing today, and there's another set of directions for four-wire, and the wiring is different between the two. Now, the three-way switch for the three-way to work I had to put both switches in the same room. So let's go ahead and add the dining room motion dimmer. Hit create. And now it's added to the dining room. So now if you look at the screen, both switches are in here. So if I press this button, it turns off the light. If I press it again, it turns on the light. And I can do the same thing over here. We can press the button here, press the button here. So it's working just like a normal three-way. 
Let's take a look at the flicker. So I did a test at night so you could actually see the flicker. So when we installed these, I did not put the bulb adapter in. And as you can see in the nighttime picture, one of the lights when it's off is flickering. When the light flickers, right, that tells me that I need to put the bulb adapter in. So the next thing I did was I took the bulb adapter and I put the bulb adapter in and added the bulb to the light fixture and then it fixed it and there was no problem at all and it works great. Now, if you have a light fixture where using the bulb adapter it isn't gonna work, which actually in our light, what happens when we put the bulb adapter in is it raises the light bulb above the globe. So if you have something like that where you don't wanna do it in the bulb fitting, then you can go and open up the ceiling where the little metal plate is up there for light fixture and you can take this little device which you can get from C by GE by calling their support line and saying you need one and basically this one here you just basically hook these two wires up to the black and the white wire up in the ceiling and it acts as the bulb adapter. The C by GE app works via rooms, groupings of lights, switches and sensors. That means you can control the room all at once or individually by entering the room in the app. And moving devices from one room to another is easy. Just select the room, press the plus key, and select the devices you want in that room. All right, so as you saw, we have everything installed downstairs, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, now what I want to do is I want to go over the app itself, right, and a few things. So right now I'm on the home screen, and if you look at the home screen, there's rooms, which is all the rooms we installed, mm -hmm. and there's scenes, so you can actually have scenes if you want to do this, okay? But let's first look at the rooms. So when we look at the room, if I go to the living room, as you can see in here, I see the motion sensor, which is this little guy right here. <laughs> um, and I can go make all, change all the settings I want. It's enabled, I can go and turn on the ambient light sensor if I want, and I have to first wake it up to do that. So I have to sit here and press the button, and then the light on this thing will go green in a second, see now it's green, and then that allows me to make the change. So one of the things to keep in mind with the wire-free things like this and the, and the, the wire-free uh, dimmer switch is if you want to make changes, sometimes you have to press the buttons to kind of wake it up so it knows it's alive. So that's it for the, for the motion sensor and how that works. Um, and it's the same with the uh, dimmer switch we put in the, uh, with motion in the dining room. Mm -hmm. And then you'll see all the devices that are listed in here and I can individually control those devices. So I can turn on the floor lamp, I can change its color, right? So all those things are, you know, possible right from the room. And of course, if I'm at the high level, I can turn the room on and off. So that's really kind of That handy. turns on the whole room. It turns on everything that's in this room gets turned on or turned off, depending on what I do from the top level. If you go into the room, you can do it Individually. Individually. Okay. And you can also, if you look, go into the room, you can actually set the brightness for everything as well. Oh, you can set a mood. And you can set a mood, yeah. So you can set a mood like blue. And so basically these two things in the top pertain to everything that's in the room, right? So when I change the blue, they all change. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. So that's pretty much it for those. Um, the uh, scenes, on the other hand, those are kind of interesting. So uh, we have one called Good Night, one called Movie. So if I click on the Movie one, then what happens is, is it turned everything on. So all, well, all that movie, movie thing did is turn it on. As you can see inside, the way I have it set up, I have the two lights, the, the lamps, I have them going red, and I have the light strip going blue, right? Okay. And now if I want, I can make a new scene. So I can come in here, I can say Add New Scene, I can create a custom scene. So let's say I want to call it test. Just for well, we'll call it something better, right? What can we call it? We'll call it Valerie. So this is what Valerie wants to see. So I can create that scene, hit next, and I can say, oh, I just want to put the TV light strips in there. And there you go. And Valerie likes the color orange. Orange. So let's see if I can manage to make it orange. Is that close enough? Is that orange enough for you? That's orange, right? Yeah, that looks pretty it's good. It's orange, right? Okay, so I can say done. Now it's set for there. I got it at 100%. And they say create. And now we have Valerie's thing. Oh, and and Valerie's watch this. Now I can press good night because I made one so we could turn things off. And you notice that the Valerie went off, mm. right? Or I can turn it back on. So you can set up scenes. But keep in mind, scenes only work in the app. 
They don't work no. with Alexa. They don't work with Google Home. So they this isn't work. a routine. This is a scene within the app. It's a scene within the app, correct. And they don't they don't carry on to the voice assistants, at least not yet they don't. All right, so that's the rooms and the scenes. There's something called automations. So this is where you can make them a little smarter. And in this case here, we can say automate the rooms. I'll just do one of them. I can say, oh, what devices do I want to automate? Oh, I'd like to automate the breakfast room dimmer. All right, and I can say next. And I can say, oh, I want to put the dimmer on. So it turns it on and it's at 100%. And I say next. And now I can say, oh, I want it to happen at sunset, let's say, for example. So, mm -hmm, yeah. Well, maybe, uh, yeah, maybe sunrise because we're going to have breakfast, right? Right. So I'll turn it on at sunrise. Mm -hmm. And I can say which days of the week. So let's not do it during the weekend. Let's only do it during the week. And there you go. The light will come on. And I can say create. And now we have, it's 6.30 in the morning, the breakfast light will come on. That's so is that, it's getting the sunset from... From the internet somewhere. Or sunrise from the internet. Some, yeah, from the internet. Now, the other thing is I did create one already for, for uh, 11 p.m. And the, what I wanted to show you is you can select a lot of different lights in these whole things to be part of that scene. Not right? just a room. Not just a room. And so the, this one here in particular is set up so that if you want to have the lights at 11 o'clock at night, I'll turn off in the house, you can do that. And that's automation. That's, that's an automation. Scene. That's correct. Okay. Yep. So every night at 11 o'clock, all those lights will go off. That's pretty much it for setting up those. So the other thing we want to talk about is if you're not home, because the switches here have Wi-Fi in them, they connect to the internet. This same thing I'm doing here, no matter where I am in the world, as long as that internet can get back to our house, is going to be able to control the lights. Great. And we've tested it. It works great. All right? Mm -hmm. And then the last thing is integration with Alexa and Google Assistant. Alexa, turn on TV light strips. Alexa, turn off TV light strips. Okay, now I can do the same thing with the Google Home app, and I can say TV light strip. I can turn it on, and I can turn it off. Now I'm doing this from the app here. And I can even change the color. So I can make it blue or red or green. So total control using either Alexa or Google Home. With Alexa and Google Home, C by GE works with both, whether it's through the app or through voice. So um, do you need to have one of these wired switches or the smart plug for the Alexa and the Google Home to work? Yes, you have to have those because it's coming over the Wi-Fi, right? Coming right. over the internet. Because they're not talking to the Alexa or the Google Home via Bluetooth. They're talking Correct. via Wi-Fi. Correct. The one thing I do want to mention, though, is that um, there's a thing called support. And you, they have a phone number in here with a, for the support. So it's a phone number, not a chat line. It's mm -hmm. a phone number. And that's kind of rare, right, in this stuff? And we've used it. We've talked to them about a lot of different things over the yeah. last month or two. And um, they're pretty responsive. You call in. You don't wait very long at all. Mm -hmm. And you get a person right in the line, that person helps you right then and there. And I think that's pretty impressive. And it's most of the days of the week that they have it. They have pretty good hours. So you can check online, of course, as to what their hours are at any given time. So and that's pretty much it. That's the whole app. That's how it works. That's the C by G line. It looks like that uh, C by G has created a whole new ecosystem for lighting in your home. And it's great that they have a number of different styles uh, so it can look good. And it works really well, it, and it doesn't need a hub. It's hubless, so uh, if you just want to get started with lighting and have a simple way to do lighting in your home, it's a great solution. And if you have an older home or a newer home, they have the products to support that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. Products themselves work really well, but I think when I look at the app in here, it's the app that is really the story here. And I think that while it works with the assistance, which is great, and you can do routines and things like that with the products, I'd like to see the app get more mature. I think that will happen over time. It needs to have more automations you can put in right. there and things of that nature. But from an initial usage, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, it's really good. Now, GE Lighting is a really old company. It goes all the way back to Edison. But recently, they were in the news because they were acquired by another company called Savant. 
Uh, Savant is a really high-end smart home company that makes uh, products that are sold by custom installers and integrators. So we're really excited about the potential of Savant and GE Lighting working together to expand the C by GE product line. We expect it's going to really improve in the next few months. Thanks for watching our video today. We've included more links about the products we reviewed, including links where to buy in the description box below. And while you're there, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you can get notified the next time we have a new video. And for more smart home stories, visit appmyhome.com. Thank you. Thank you.